get a few pieces left. Brent, tell everyone the two items remaining. We've just got the two uh, sprockets left. And we've that got is about, true. We've got just about just over an hour of of uh, marathon remaining. We've so we're actually timed it out pretty good here. Modern 8-bit and tabletop gaming Wow. remaining. So, Aaron, if you want to show the people at home the wheel. Yes, sir. Wheel time. There it is. Here we go. My pose. I like your pose. We got some tabletop gaming. Okay, <coughs> tabletop gaming. So Brent, tell him what you. Hey, think. Huck. Gary's back. <laughs> hey, Gary. No, I th I think for, we're gonna start with your game on this one, Aaron. Okay. I can't remember what I picked. Oh yes, this was uh, I picked uh, the Genesis slash Mega Drive. You know, I love tabletop gaming, as you know, and so, uh, but I wanted to do something simple and fun, and we hadn't had a game one here from this and from this uh, particular ma uh, machine. So I had to get one in. And so I picked for the Mega Drive slash Genesis Clue or Cluedo for you uh, uh, over overseas. I believe it's Cluedo. Cluedo. That's the way you pronounce it, Cluedo. Is it? Like yeah. Cluedo, like the That's planet. right. It, That's no, like how it was named. Like the dog. Oh, okay. Anyone uh, here play Clue in real life? Anyone not played on Earth? You what? seem underwhelmed by my choice here. No, it's fine. You <laughs> Listen, it's tabletop board games. Yeah. Aaron, I could have picked a million better games than that's this. That's your opinion. Have you played Clue on the Mega Drive? I have not. Okay. And I will let you drive. Thank you. And you can play a little Clue for us. All right. You guys don't want to play with me? Well, I, I think uh, I due pretty... to the interest of time, okay. we will uh, we'll just do a one-player game. Now let's go back over and through. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go with Gum Shoe. How's that sound? Gum. Okay. Uh, uh. There it is. Double up. Number of players. Let's go with... Uh, you want three because the other two are just going to be computers. Select the character. Okay. You know, I usually take Colonel Mustard. That's my boy. That's me. You, You're a human, Aaron. I've heard that. Next player. Yeah. We've got to have Miss Scarlet in there. Sexy girl. That's a computer. And then lastly, you gotta have, um, let's see, Mr. Green. He looks a lot like Jack Trammell. <laughs> Get him in there. He looks kind of pissed off. Here we go. Look at your cards for a start to play. I wonder if we're meant to have actual cards. No. Because we did not actually look at anything. Yeah, I didn't mind. Have I, you ever played this before? Yeah, I've played Clue tons of times. No, I mean on the, on the Mega Drive. No. Okay, so how sure are you that you didn't? This game didn't come with some clue cards. Because look right here. Hmm. Yeah. See. So these are my cards. So we know she didn't do it. We know she didn't do it. Knife. Knife didn't do it. Paw. Lead pipe and rope. So that's half the. That's half, half the battle. Oh well, yeah, you're weapons. playing a loser. Whoop. <laughs> well, no, that's minute. that's fine. Okay, now we want to. Where am I? I'll get, I'll you wanna, want to roll? <laughs> I thought I already rolled. Oh, I guess no, that was, that was the computer. Oh, you have to actually physically move your hand. Yeah. Wow, that roll sucked. Well done, Aaron. Good turn. Good turn. Yeah, and this is really where Clue falls apart. Is the. Are you going to pick apart Clue, yes. Jamie? Well, Can we just play a fun game where it's okay to have some <laughs> random elements? No, there's, there's not. I just, it's just such a slog moving through the. Uh, the mansion. I don't think it. I, we have a lot of fun playing this in my house, and my kid Royal likes it. He likes moving through the mansion. We like having a good time. I don't mind even having a good time. We're patient. Look, Look at this. this. He's looking at clues. He found one. <laughs> okay, I take it back. I like this game. I like the little cinematic touches. That's why I picked it. <laughs> All right, Aaron. Can I try to get to a room this time? Nope. Yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is fun. It's just bad luck. That's all it is. That's part of... Listen, this is the kind of thing that would happen to Colonel Mustard on a daily basis. The guy was in the military. <laughs> He's just He's stumbling like about. On, 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 uh, you know, I'm going to the dining room. And roller skates. I'll see you in two hours. <laughs> oh, oh, she made an accusation. <clears throat> Nope, no one in the observatory, or conservatory, sorry. We need like a scratch pad for this. Mm-hmm. All right, Aaron, maybe this time. Maybe I roll you're in the, a little more. You're in the room oh. now. No. Nope. Oh. 
Now listen, I am getting screwed here. You gotta admit that. There's nothing you can do about that. No, we're just having fun, man. This is awesome. There we go. See, it happens to everybody. I like how the dice make a noise. There's two dice, but there's only one. <laughs> What's the that? sound of one dice rolling? <laughs> there we there go. There we go. Let's see here. I don't blow it. One, two, three, four. God. All right. All right, who did it? So let's say it was, uh, we don't have Mr. Green, and then let's say we did, we've got knife, rope, and pipe. Right. So let's say revolver. Uh oh, it looks like something's happened in here. No weapon oh, yeah. in the dining They're playing room. the real way where you've got to like move the weapons around and stuff. I never understood this part of the game. Because don't you have to actually carry the weapons? Uh, you know how the game comes with little plastic weapons? No, the weapons are just in the rooms. Okay. In game. Or in game. <laughs> <laughs> game. We're good. I think we got some of this down. I think it was the wrong. I think it was the wrong weapon in the right. In the, we got some of it right. She's in the dining room as well. So it's just saying Scarlet. We know the knife didn't do it. Yep. Yep. They only use spoons and forks in that dining room. No <laughs> knives. Steak night is I quite think a treat. Stay in here. Okay. Everybody else seems to be congregating here. Well, yeah. whenever you accuse someone, they have to go to that room. Mm. So it pulls them in no Look, matter what they are. he's doing it too. Again, we know it's not the knife. Right. <laughs> we know it's not plum. Mm -hmm. So if two, and we know it's not scarlet. Right. So really, we're narrowing down. Yeah. Let's have a look at my cards real quick. Scarlet, white, we know it's not them, knife, hall, lead pipe, rope. So it's gonna be green, all right? We can agree it's green. We can agree it's the dining room, and now we've gotta determine the weapon. And we know it's not revolver, pipe, rope, or knife. So we're gonna go candlestick. Panel stick. Yeah. How do you know it's green? Because he's the only one we haven't seen a card for. So we want to make an accusation. All right, green. I knew it was you the whole time. Handle stick in the dining room. Now you realize if you, this is the one. If you fail, it's over. No, oh, I'm I'm confident we've got it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is great. Yeah. I admit it. This is great. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, and that was Clue, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, we're not going to try another round? I know. I think you failed. <laughs> I like the game made you believe you had it. I thought I had it, didn't you? It's pretty good. Pretty good. So we're moving to the next one then? Well, I mean, unfortunately, uh, uh, for board games, this is the kind of thing you can only get a taste of it unless we're going to really play it. So Okay, this next one should be interesting to try to get to work, but we'll give it a shot. So I don't think it'll is, be hard to get to work. This is the one that you picked, Brenny. Yep, I mean, when I do tabletop gaming, I, there's only one place to do it, and that's Tabletop Simulator on Steam. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> give us just a brief moment to get this bad boy up and running uh, as Aaron ponders what Steam is. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't find the, uh, the gimmick there. There you go. Uh, for those that don't know, Tabletop Simulator is uh, it is just what it sounds like. It, it is gives you elements of tabletop games that you can put together. Uh, you can make your own games. You can do uh, RPG elements uh, for Dungeons and Dragons or Mech Warrior. Um, the community is tremendous 
for Tabletop Simulator, putting out dozens of games every day. Um, every day, really? Oh, yes. The unfortunate side of it is it's true that uh, uh, some of it is gray legal area. And, and there are games to buy officially on Tabletop as well. <coughs> but the non uh, purchasables, purchasable ones on the workshop, uh, kind of gray area. I, I think that's beyond fair to say. Let me, uh, give me a bear with me for one moment, everyone. Why, uh, oh, there it goes. I was worried for a second there. Send right it there. up a little bit. Uh, just to, I mean, we're just going to do a super, super brief overview. Uh, I'll let you handle it from there, big yeah, boy. Yeah, this is, this is, uh, we're playing over at Aaron. One. No, no, no. I'm not we're letting you get play. out of it. You're playing it, Aaron. He wants to play, you're going to love what he picked here. He mocked Clue, by the way. Uh, now this, of course, you can play a million different things on it. We're just going to do the absolute easiest, quickest game we can get through. And that's Single a nice... player? Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, all of this red text you see is because I, I'm playing on Aaron's computer and I don't have all of my stuff uh, loaded. You see some of my saves, saves down here. We play Dungeons & Dragons on this and uh, our different layouts that we've got going on. But we, we're just going to do a standard game from the Classics Department. Just a real quick game of checkers. Now, Aaron, I know you're not a tabletop, and, and this is certainly not the best system to play this on. We're playing this in a church. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I found that odd, frankly. <laughs> uh, <coughs> for this particular game, the rules aren't hard-coded in, so you can cheat and... Take your checker and put it back here and uh, that sort of thing. But for us, for checkers, I believe, Aaron, you agree we're going to play Force Jump. Correct? Yeah, that sounds good to me, yeah. Um, and I will be red. There you go. He's going to move his checker like six oh. spots. Okay. Huh? Oh, no. Boop. Brilliant. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> Tabletop Simulator often goes on sale, uh, and there are always games running for general public. Uh, if you just want to jump in and play something, that is almost always available. Um, for role-playing sessions, there are people that do that too. Arkham Horror is a really popular game to play on here uh, if you want to find random pickup games. It does help to know what game you're going to play going in, uh, but they have customizable graphics, customizable uh, rule sets where you can play where it makes you do the rules. Yeah, Paul, and the checkers is called, or we call it checkers, it's drafts. It's All right, Aaron, you have to jump that since that's the way we're playing. Okay, I don't, I don't know why you have to do that, but... This is it's kind of wacky. And if you, you want to change the camera angle, Aaron, you certainly can. No, no, I'm fine. This is good enough for me. Now, Aaron, do you remember? Because you you uh, used to play with us on tabletop. No, you never did play with us Aaron, on tabletop. Or Brent, you can't do that. You have to jump him. Where? Right there, the checker that's right there. Yeah. Yep. Right no, there. there's a checker there. No. Oh, the other I, checker. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got I don't you. Don't know what you're up to. This I is apologize. Your rule. Well, it's not really my role. It's just checkers. See what I did there. Yep. Thank you, Boat. So, yoink and yoink. Yep. That's double trouble. Whoops. What were you saying? Uh, did you ever play the, any of the role-playing games with us on this? I've not, I've not, I've got this, but I don't, I've not used it now. I actually play a, <laughs> I actually play in a weekly game of uh, RPG type games. Currently we're playing uh, a Dungeons and Dragons game where I'm running it and we always use Tabletop Simulator. 
Packboy says this is half price right now. And it, it's a it's a sweet deal. Uh, I really have to say the uh, devs on this game are fantastic. Um, also, this has VR support. Uh, and playing this in VR, you jumped my guy. That would be sickening. I had to. No, it's not oh. sickening at all. <clears throat> you can um, use the remotes and pick up pieces like you're picking them up off the board. Yeah. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I typically don't play in VR uh, just because I've got to look at so many other screens when I'm DMing. Yeah. <coughs> but it's it's an awesome thing that the devs added in. They had no intention of doing it at first. So it was really nice when they it makes did sense, add though, it. all things considered. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I need to pay better attention, don't I? No, you're doing great. What do you think of this checkers game, Boat? It's about as exciting as any game of checkers I've ever watched. It's just, uh, it, do you have any tips, pro tips for checkers? You have to jump me. You have to jump me. Oh, yeah, I need to see it. I, uh, I'm not a big checkers guy. I'm more of a chess man. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not much of a chess man. I'm not, I, I don't like but, that. But uh, I would rather play chess than checkers any day of the week. I, uh, of course. About wow, 10 bucks. That is a good deal. Uh, would also rather play chess, but of course. There's no way we got the time for that. I don't know. You yeah. might be able to beat me at chess quick enough. <laughs> well, with, yeah, with checkers, you can kind of make dumb moves without thinking about it too much and still be okay. But with chess, you really have to ponder. You usually get punished, yeah. yeah. I'm all about the dumb moves. Uh, I have a chess story. I guess we can go ahead and tell it. I think I've told it before. I yeah. used to be... Uh, I used to play in... Uh, ranked chess matches when I was a wee lad. <coughs> and I went to a tournament, and a guy beat me in four moves. Yeah. And uh, it's your turn, there. I know, I'm looking. Uh, well, it's, it, you don't think when you play checkers. You just play checkers. I think. Um, I think plenty. It, I was so demoralized that it pretty much ended my career. Uh, I will have to say, though, that uh, after after the guy beat me in four moves, we played a game just for fun, and uh, I crushed him. But, you know, that wasn't a ranked match. It didn't count. So I ended my ranked play career two and two over the, day, over the course of a, a weekend. If I was going to devote my life to a classic game, I would really like that to was dumb. learn how to play Go. In retrospect. Go, yeah. But that is one of those where you have to make it. Like, this is my hobby. This is what I spend all my time yeah. doing. And also, you have never have any opponents you know, around about, this area. Not around, around here. You just have to play it's funny online. funny you should mention Go. I just saw a news story. The world champion in Go recently retired. And the reason he retired was because... Uh, he could. He he's the only man to ever beat a the a computer. He he lost a series. Uh, um, he lost a series five games to one, but he actually beat the computer once. And he had, and that was a couple years. It was deep. What deep mind or deep blue uh, computer? And he said, and officially now, man can't win the game against the computer. He's the, and he's like, I'm done. He's out. I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, it's not cool for humans. We've, once again, we're pretty much bone, but uh, you know what I mean. Well, I mean, to be fair, uh, when it comes to calculating millions of calculations at one time, I think a computer is going to pretty much trump us at every turn from now here on out. I don't know. I think I could beat the computer at some stuff. Wings. <laughs> There's some things a human can do better than a computer. Uh, I mean... Sure. I, I There's no question about that. But when it comes to uh, calculating odds and, and uh, future strategies and stuff... I'm the king of that. I'm a future strategies master. Like this chess game, I've dreamt about it for the past <laughs> month. I knew it was coming. Well, wow. Yeah, that's right. That's but. amazing since we're playing checkers. But, you know, besides that little football, you nailed it. Yeah.
I think we should have put the view of the uh, Xbox running through these trailers while you guys were playing. <laughs> that's, that's the only way I'm making it here. We don't. You don't find this interesting? <laughs> Considering the fact that we bailed on our game of Clue early to get to it. <laughs> you were bad mouthing Clue. You're like, oh, Clue. I came around on you Clue. Got a double. I guess I shouldn't have said that. No, well, that's boink fine. Yeah. And boink. I knew what I was doing. You guys think I'm an idiot? Yes. Well, guess what? You're getting beat by an idiot. Get this crap. You don't need him no more. He hit the hit the bricks, pal. That was an interesting tune that they was playing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's talking at me. That's what it sounded like. It was. It was Nelson. 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 <laughs> oh. You don't know who that is, do you? No, that's just a Nelson. I was thinking the band, Nelson. Yeah. Pack Billy knows. Oh, good play, Aaron. I don't think you meant to, but good play. How about not doing this the entire game? Yeah. You are pretty good at checkers, Aaron. Bing, I'll give you that. Bing, and that's your ball game. Get yeah. this, hold on. Get this crap off the playing field. Bam. That was that was actually really impressive. No, nothing ever Whoa. happened. They nice. flipped the table. I think that's enough checkers for today. <laughs> Remind me never to play you in checkers. Thank you. I play a lot with Luke in front of the old uh, cracker barrel. I can believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, for tabletop games, tabletop simulator, especially when you can get it for 10 bucks, I mean, they're obviously not a sponsor of the channel or anything. I wish they were. Well, Aaron, that brings us down. Hold on, hold on. Pay me this pie pieces. We got a business to take care of here. And that one was tabletop games. This was suggested to us by the Dunk, the man himself, the Dunks, the Duncan Styles. Thank you, Dunk. A good choice that we may again revisit sometime.